I remember the first time that I had to give khutbah, it was my university, uh, and the MSA president called me. It was a Thursday night, of course, because why else would they give you more time to prepare? And I had to uh, fill in for somebody that couldn't make it, a khatib that couldn't make it. And I remember the process that I went through. Um, at that point, I had been taking like weekend seminars and uh, you know studying with some certain shiuch and had gone overseas with some family and did some studying over there. But really, like knowledge was not a very tangible substance to me. It was more of just kind of like a culture that I was following. And I remember I had to prepare for the khutbah. Like I didn't have enough knowledge about a given subject to actually just prepare a khutbah from what I had already studied previously. Like I had to actually do a lot of research. And it was very similar to like a book report. I had to like watch videos and listen to lectures and write down points and basically re-deliver those points on the khutbah. And from that khutbah, I ended up getting on the rotation and then going around to different massages in Chicago and then eventually the Midwest. And the feeling of just being uh, you know, intellectually dehydrated just kind of overwhelmed me. Um, that I was kind of being called upon to deliver this sort of nourishment, spiritual nourishment to people, when in fact I myself had not yielded or experienced it myself at that time. And um, it, it dawned on me at that moment that what I was doing for the sake of studying and being a student of knowledge, what I had interpreted as being a student of knowledge at the time, was actually nowhere near what a student of knowledge was. And um, so I went from the seminar culture and then eventually moved uh, to Dallas because Sheikh Abdel Nasser, I had met him and he recommended that I work and study with him here and had started then growing from seminars to intensives. So Sheikh Abdel Nasser would have weekend intensives and then spring break intensives and then eventually the Quran intensive. Um, and so I kind of polished my Arabic up there and then eventually spent the next few years reading texts with him. And now that I look back on it, it's been like six, seven years, I noticed the transition I went to from, you know, just someone who would attend weekend seminars with different institutes, and then I went to like summer and winter intensives, and then now, alhamdulillah, I'm being able to actually study and gain knowledge for the sake of knowledge, and I'm realizing, alhamdulillah, that this is now what it feels like to just begin being a student of knowledge. Like what I thought was before was actually such a false, like fraudulent um, sort of claim about myself. Now when I sit with Sheikh Abdel Nasser and I prepare talks for hours and hours that I'm only going to be speaking for 20 minutes but I know that I have to study and put so much into it in order to get that knowledge across and in order to change myself before I deliver the message to other people, this is what it means to be a student of knowledge. And I can't thank Sheikh Abdel Nasser and Qalam and the seminary enough for giving me the opportunity to transition and take that next step and go to that next level. I think that if Qalam means something to me, if I could put it in one word, it would be growth, intellectual growth, spiritual growth, and just growth all around.